All right, folks. So this is Rachel Fleming, and this is just showing what I did for my Info 200 MLIS quest, uh, class with uh, San Jose State University. Uh, Info 200 was where we had to do a lot of our graduate uh, writing requirements. So we each had to set up our own blog. So this is the one I set up. Um, this is an image I took at the Grand Tetons uh, National Park. So the very first post we had to do was this one right here. And I just, this is a graphic design that I'd done. And this is an image. And then like I put in the link for my little um, art shop that I have. And I put in some of my graphic design elements and the images. And obviously there's comments down here that I responded to. So then over time, we did all these different posts. So I'm just gonna take you through them so you can see what I did for the different ones. So that was post one and the greetings. Then we have in September, we have, here's an info bubble to start with. Context book review, oh here, here's two. So we had to pick a big topic that we were going to basically discuss for the semester. I chose women's health and specifically women's information seeking behaviors um, within first world nations usually and how that actually manifested um, online and their online presence. So this was specifically on what community I'd chosen. So I'm a big fan of, of images to try to draw people into blogs. So I put a nice image in and then I put a little personal antidote of myself and then all sorts of images of my family and the women in my family and why this is important along with, you know, in text citations and all of the important things that we're doing and why we're doing it. This was a really long post. I know the blogs are usually supposed to be a little bit shorter, but um, yeah, and here's the references that I used for that specific one. And then these are the comments that were said to it. So that is the second blog post. That was, it was a longer one. And then we had the third one, which was a context book review. So on this one, I chose this really great book called Contagious uh, by Berger written in 2013. And this is the context book review that I did for it. And there will be screenshots of these as well if you would like to see the actual writing. And then I have samples of the actual writing as well. And then we have blog three, which was, for me, I called it Women Navigating the Ocean of Health Information. And I used an image that I took of uh, Northern California as my image. And I think that having a theme or a metaphor as well as an image with your blog post is really helpful. And then this one, I also wrote it more like an essay with the in-text citations. And this one was just about how big the sea of information is that women have to navigate. And it, it can be very, very overwhelming. And then this is one of my favorite ones. I started creating graphic design uh, elements at the top rather than just having uh, photographic evidence. So we had to take one specific scholarly reference and do kind of like an in-depth uh, review and associate it with our specific topic. So I chose Chapman's A Theory of Life in the Round. And I created this little design for it because I thought that was a fun design and it was a good metaphor. And then this time I started off with a story, something that would draw the reader in based on imagine if you are this person and this is your problem. Um, and then I go into Chapman's Theory of Life in the Round and then how it ties into the insights in my own research. And uh, yeah, so that was that one. I believe that was all the ones in September that we did. So then we go to November. So scroll down here to the bottom, blog post five. This was again, I did another image because I felt that having a graphic design element was really helpful. So for me, I chose libraries basically as bridges between um, health information and resources and providers and people who need it and just struggle to find it. So for me, I really started looking into how is it that over the next you know, 20 years, what role are libraries going to play within women seeking health information? And so again, I started with imagine you are, to try to put you in the shoes of the person who would need this information. And then I go into current perceptions of libraries. And then I ended this time with some fun, um, comics that I thought were relatable. And then obviously the references down here at the bottom. And I started making sure I had DOIs in every single one that was um, easily accessible. So that was blog five. And then blog six, uh, this is a design that I had created in a different library class, but I thought it worked really well for this one as well. And I just started really exploring the fact that libraries can basically be the helping hands that just connect 
people together. We are the bridges, we are the helping hands. And I, I really liked that as a theme. Um, went and explored contexts and pressures, um, organizations that are really trying to do a lot of really great things, kind of did an evaluation of those. And then future libraries as the third place, which is one of my favorite uh, things that is currently a big conversation and then a conclusion. And then this was a fun one. We had to create a infograph. So I chose again, women using technology for healthcare. And personally, we did not have to do any more than just create an infograph, but I felt it really helpful to have just two paragraphs to really explain and show where my research came for, from and what exactly I was talking about and why I believed um, that these were the main elements and design elements for, you know, motivated by family and self wellness. Like what is the actual motivations behind it? And where am I getting this information? So I found that really, really helpful. So this was my blog post seven on women's health and technology. And then this was this, I believe our last one where we had to just, why we chose the one that we chose and I do a reflection post on it. So this is what I did for my info 200 class. And these are the blog posts that I did. And I will be happy to share PDFs of the text.